what's going on guys welcome back to the channel um basically we're making some more progress on the black card today so i haven't been recording everything with the camera i've been recording here and there and then um there's been a lot of cell phone clips orlando actually been coming through and helping me out so we got to use our dolly we got to strip the whole car um yeah you guys don't want to see me talking I'm going to insert a whole bunch of phone clips in here. You guys can see the process that we've been doing so far. And then uh, let's take a look at it right now. out we got the motor over here some of you are already like damn he got mad room we actually got the car on the dolly the car is a hundred percent on the dolly right now we got the heater on blast right now it's, it's 31 but it's supposed to snow in a little bit but we got all the five lug out i'm gonna put the flashlight on here for you we got all the five lug out basically this is all bare here uh, suspension's all out. The only thing I left in was like the, the fuel tank. Ugh, I can't really use an extra fuel tank. I don't have room for a fuel tank. So I'm just going to disconnect my stuff and go from there. I, uh, I'm going to take this fender off. And then uh, I can access the, the, the bolts for the door. I know that there's like, I think, two and two. I got to unwire it and we'll go from there. Then I'll have this whole door off and out the way. Then I'll start taking the seats out. And it's just easier like that. Taking apart a car. Mind you, I never stripped a car like this before. But I got still gotta take off that molding. I took off the molding on the other side. Take off this whole door, take off the fender. After we take off the fender, let me squeeze around here. But on the PLM engine stand, this is Beautiful, I can move the swap around like crazy. But also another thing in the engine bay, we took out the whole the whole steering. The steering will go here, check out that dolly. It's putting in it work, my man Blake. Moves nice. We took out the steering rack, the whole subframe, the rear mount was on there. Like we left it all on and we're gonna send that to powder coat, get everything brand new looking again. I decided I'm just gonna send everything out in the front i'm gonna send the rear out and i'm just gonna get everything looking nice for the purple hatch but next gotta take out the brake proportioning valve i'm gonna disconnect these lines i'm gonna leave the rear lines in like they're they're a little rusty looking sketchy in the back i never noticed that we're gonna get rid of that and uh yeah this will all come out once i pull the dash out and take everything else out i gotta pull this mount off i'm thinking that this this rail here is bent, like, if you can see how easy it moves. But most of the damage, yeah. that's like kinda, like pushing down back on the rail. But crushed, this whole thing is pushed back. You'll see down, once I take all that stuff out, how dented that is. Then I was looking on this side, cause my roof, my roof got messed up, can't tell. But my roof is like messed up. So I was looking at this side. Because this fender's like bent out. So it looks like the hood hit it over here. Get rid of that. But this fender's bent out. Looks like the hood hit it right here. And pushed like everything this way. But then I'm looking at this down here. 
I mean, uh, like the whole, like the whole, I, like, I want to say like the whole firewall is just like fucked up. Like it definitely got rocked. Like I'm not sure on how fast we were going at the impact, but this little Civic tin can. But yeah, it's it's crazy being being in this MGB. Like I got to paint it before, so I seen it like empty before, but now I'm seeing it empty and there's like one side of EK. Like it's just it's just crazy. But I gotta take that out. We're gonna clean all that stuff out. We'll take the wiper cowl off the wipers. I'm gonna take this fender off. So let's let's just do that. We're gonna move the motor out the way, and then uh, let's take off this fender. I'm like, let's move the whole case swap out of the way first. Watch how easy it is with the PLM uh, stand and swap. You can also see how cold it is. Oh, almost tripped over the jack stands. This should just die. So, looking at this side, this is the non damaged side. You see those spots? That's for me, like rubbing and stuff. It's all rubbing. But now I'm getting an idea of what's really about to go on here. So I wanna, my whole plan is to paint like this whole section in here like black on the purple hatch. We're not gonna like redo this or nothing. But on the purple hatch, I'm gonna take that, that brake line out. But I'm gonna redo that, get this all painted. All right, so fender's off. I was looking into that connector that's actually right here. So basically I took this off because I thought there would be like a connector here. There's no connector over there. So I was going over here to the door. The door's actually got a connector. Um, it's basically two wires just for the speaker because that's all there is. And uh, yeah, we really exposed those bolts though. So. I'm going to put a jack under the door because I'm here by myself. And I'm going to just try to jack it up a little bit. And then I'll take these bolts out. And then drop the jack down with the whole, with the whole door.
from it. And then once I found this bolt, it changed the whole thing. Come on, it's out. heaters basically the whole engine bay is basically bare you can see the damage here see that the whole strut tower is pushed back actually when I was taking out this brake booster here there wasn't really enough room for me to even take out the brake booster I struggled with that brake booster a little bit but wiring's all out we look over here dashboard is out all dashboard cluster everything Got a whole bunch of interior trims over here. We got a whole bag of garbage that we just threw out. But yeah, let's take a look at the car. So looking at the car, there's no more hatch. There's no more doors. Uh, there's no more interior. Like basically I'm getting down to like the end of it here. All the dash wiring's out. I'm gonna leave the SRS system in here because once the airbags go off, the SRS system is junk and you have to get everything new again anyway. So that's going to go in the garbage. That's junk. I just got to take out the last body harness. And that goes up to like the fuel pump and stuff. And then I'll just take out like all the remainder of stuff. But basically we're almost there guys. Like. <clears throat> so people keep asking me like. Oh why are you getting rid of this car? This fix fixable. All this stuff. So if you look like straight down this thing. You can just kind of see how crooked this frame rail is. So basically the damages are pretty pretty extensive here. So this whole thing would have to be replaced from here on front. The whole strut tower is smacked. This is the windshield, of course, you already know. Done. I was looking around the other day, and then uh it's hard to it's hard to tell here. We get the phone for a little bit. But right right in there, that whole section is like kind of creased and like raised up. And then it's like kind of dented here at the same time. The whole floor right in this section is all just kind of fucked up. You can see some, some kinks over there. Yeah. The whole floor is just kind of fucked up. So basically, what I've noticed is the roof was actually messed up as well. So now that basically everything is out, last things I got to take out. Floor harness goes all the way back, and I also got to take out the headliner. Still, it's still completing in there, so I'm actually gonna take this headliner off first, and then um, then I'll pull the body harness out. But she's coming all along. Like just some things we have on the floor here. We got the pedals. We got like the wiper motor, clutch stuff. We got our damage pile, damage fender, damage red. But we got a whole bunch of stuff. We got the whole steering, steering column. We got a whole medium steering wheel, passport mounts. Just everything's kind of all over the place. But uh, we've been making tons of progress. So we got our our car dolly. It's underneath there. I don't know if you can see it, but our car our car dolly works beautifully. I can move the whole car. I don't know if you can tell. I could legit move the whole car and uh, push it right on back. That, that dolly is amazing. In this little garage like this, dolly is amazing. If you guys made it this far, I'm sorry, I got the heater on full blast over here. But um, if you guys made it this far, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for the support. Um, my next video, 
it's probably going to be us getting rid of this car. So hopefully you guys stay tuned for that. And then uh, we'll start the whole build on the Purple Hatch. We're calling the Purple Hatch Grimace. So be on the lookout. We're going to have some merchandise and everything. So uh, watch out for that. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned.